how to connect IEC motors. We'll use a 355 frame size motor to show how easy it is to connect ABB IEC motors. NEMA 580 and 5000 frame motors from ABB have a very similar terminal box. The QR code leads to the manual and other important information. Check to ensure you use the correct torque values. The motors come with a kit of parts to make the connections, but you need to source cable glands and lugs separately. The terminal box can be rotated in 90 degree steps. Motors can be ordered with the terminal box mounted on either side or on top. This motor has a wiring diagram inside the terminal box cover. There are six winding terminals and one earth terminal plus a terminal block for auxiliaries. The internal connections are pre-made and do not require modification. We'll start with a delta connection. Fix the three jumper bars in position. Source the gland based on the size of the cable, type of thread and IP rating. Source the lugs according to the size of the leads. Fix them with a crimping tool. Connect the earth conductors to the earth terminal. Connect phases L1 through L3 to the winding terminals based on the connection diagram. The auxiliary terminals are spring-loaded, making it easy to connect auxiliaries like space heaters and thermistors. You can extend the terminal block if you need more connections. Leads for the auxiliaries should come through the side. To avoid induced currents, they should not run parallel to the power cables. There's an option to attach an additional auxiliary terminal box if needed. Some motors are supplied with an ABB Ability Smart Sensor for digital monitoring or sensors can be ordered separately. If you require a star connection, use the long jumper bar. Simply fix it across three winding terminals as shown in the diagram. If an ABB motor should need to be replaced, it's really easy. Ensure the terminal box is de-energized. Disconnect the leads. Simply lift out the gland plate with the cable in place. Remove the old motor and install the new one. Check components like the gland plate seal. Replace any that are worn or damaged. Fix the gland plate in place, then make the connections. That's it, the new motor is ready for use. Different sizes of motor will have different terminal boxes, but the boxes all have a clear layout and plenty of space. Low voltage motors from ABB. Connections made easy.